Hi everyone, it's Dawn and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, last night I received a phone call and it's somebody saying that they are from Princess Cruise Lines and I owe them $196 for my last cruise. Today's video is brought to you by Private Internet Access. Look, let's be frank. In this day and age, if you're not using a VPN, you are setting yourself up for hackers to steal your personal information. And that goes triple when you're traveling to other countries. A VPN is a must have these days to hide your personal information from those hackers and people looking to steal your information. Now, why did I choose private internet access over other VPNs out there? Well, a couple of reasons. Number one, I can cover not just one, not three, not five, not 10, not 20, as many devices, unlimited devices with the exact same plan. Also, they have a no log policy, which means they store none of my personal information or data, and that's been proven in court by a third party audit. Now, by using my link below, you can get up to 83% off your subscription plus four months free. For as little as $2.03 a month, you too can travel and rest easy knowing your VPN is working to help secure your information. Thank you again to Private Internet Access for sponsoring this video. That's right, somebody called me. <laughs> Probably the worst person you could possibly call regarding owing money on a cruise, especially for Princess Cruise Lines, and claimed that I would owe them a hundred and ninety some dollars. And I said, oh, really? Um, that's surprising because, uh, you know, my cruise was paid off and, and uh, my bill I have right here in front of me, it all matches, it's all paid off. Uh, why did you let me off the ship if I still owed you money? And they said, well, there was a, a glitch, sir, in the computer system on the ship, and uh, that's why it didn't come out until now, and, uh, and this is why. And I said, oh, oh, okay. Um, so, um, you know, what did, the, what did the hotel director, Bill, say? So, well, sir, um, you know, he's very apologetic and, 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 and see, see, hotel director's name was not Bill. <laughs> hotel director's name was Charles. Um, so, so I knew that this was a scam. Yet I kept playing along, playing along and playing along, letting them run until they finally realized that I was playing them and, and disconnected the phone never tried to call me back. And now I'm also hearing other people, not from my cruise in particular, but some people who are on other cruise lines saying that they're receiving letters from the cruise line saying that they owe them money. You know, $100 for this, $140 for that. Not great big amounts of money. You know, a couple hundred dollars, a hundred dollars, something that people might think, oh, okay, well, that's something. Like sometimes the, the cruise line is going to charge you a fuel service tax, right? We've heard rumors about that, except if they do that, they're going to do it on the ship. They're going to charge your bill on the ship. Also, if your credit card doesn't go through when you're leaving the ship and they're trying to put your bill through, you don't get to get off the ship. They will send you down to customer service until this gets resolved. That's, that's how it works. They do not call people at home and they do not send you an email saying, hey, uh, you owe us money. That's not how it works. They have your credit card. You book the cruise with your credit card. You bought things on the ship with your credit card. So whatever you do, if you receive an email from the cruise line after your cruise, not before your cruise, right? After your cruise, stating that you owe them 100 or owe them $200,
call the cruise. Don't call any number on the email. Don't reply to the email. Call the cruise line, give them your booking number and say, hey, I received this saying I owe money. What's the deal? I'm almost 100% positive that you will always, always get the answer, sir, you don't owe us any money, or ma'am, you don't owe us any money. This is somebody trying to get your money, one way or another. Not only that, if you did send them money and pay them, well, now they have your card. Now they have your information and you could expect something much worse than $100 or $200 to be coming off your credit cards or your bank account. So if you receive an email after your cruise from any cruise line out there saying, you still owe money on your cruise, just disregard it. Just disregard it because like I said, they already have your credit card information. They already have anything they need to take your